I can't do it anymore. I'm frustrated. It's all over. I'm done with this van build. We're quitting the van build. Welcome back to FNA Van Life. We've had a pretty major setback in our van build. I don't know how I'm even talking right now because I'm hurting pretty bad. Uh... The best thing that we can do is just try to help Frankie feel better. So we're looking for the positivity in this week to make the best of a bad situation. Let's get into it. Good morning, guys. It is a new dawn. It is a new day. We're going to get started on the van, but first thing is first, we have to take care of cleaning it up because it is a mess right now. It's so bad. We're going to get all this stuff out of here. We're going to settle in the back. We're going to get things feeling right so that way we can work with a nice, good flow spot. You know what I'm saying? This has to happen every single day because of the limited space that we have and where we're building. But once again, like we said, that can't stop you. If you have a goal, you have a mindset, you have something that you really, really want to do, you got to just do it. It doesn't matter the setting that you have. In order to get to changing your environment, you have to do things that are uncomfortable to be able to change your environment. So let's make it happen, guys. The van is looking beautiful, Frankie and Bart. I don't know, was Bart helpful in uh, cleaning? Yeah, you could have motivated him a little bit. You could say uh, that's was. good, that's good. <laughs> All right, so team effort. I was uh, doing the shower business. So. Yeah, I told him you were cleaning yourself up, getting also yourself ready. Also working really hard. Um, yeah, so now. Like fish butt, like Paco. <laughs> hey. We're gonna get back to framing. We're gonna finish this out, finish out the Havelock wool, maybe. We'll be done with the framing today. We'll see. Whenever I say that we're gonna be done with a job in a day, I'm always wrong. So don't trust me. Alex doesn't really know the timeline for any of these things, and that's okay. But right now, I'm measuring out uh, the studs that we're gonna be putting in here. We're gonna do the one by threes, these little guys here, the, the furring strips. Like, look how strong this is. So if we do that here, we'll have the same type of outcome. Uh, we're not gonna do it every you know, a couple feet, but we're gonna do it enough to where we have support where we need it. So before they can put the wood up, I wanna put the Havelock wool behind it so that the wood is supporting the Havelock wool just like it is up here. Oh man, my back is killing me. Oh baby. <sighs> back attack? Back attack, lower back on crack. Grab your knees. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like this. Oh yeah, work it out guys. That's how it helped me though. <laughs> That's how I felt when I was um, at work too. Like when I was doing air conditioning, my back would kill me all the time. I wasn't feeling right, you know. But you change up your lifestyle and you feel so much better. So I'm glad I'm building this, but I can't wait till I'm freaking. You just gotta take some time in between and do the stretching and the yoga and the meditation and things like that. You feel better. Um, stretch. I'll stretch you uh, out. Stretch it out, double it up. That's you, my plan. And what do you got? Seven R rating. Yeah, you want to get closer, right? Uh, we'll pop it if you have. Right. You heard that? Mm hmm. You know, at least one more on that side. Uh... So I think the combination of working all day, every day, plus sleeping in a bed that's got a giant divot in the middle of it. It's definitely impacting Frankie's back. He's got a long-standing injury in his L5, and today it's just super inflamed. Can you do me a favor? Other parts of your body not being stretched enough could contribute to this too as well. You know, so making sure you guys do your stretches and stuff. I have been slacking in that department, especially being in such a Poor bed, I should really be doing it right now. But this is helpful right now. Thanks, babe. I do what I can. I can't fix it, but I can certainly try to help. You wanna help daddy with his bed? Yeah, I bet you do. 
Bert went and picked up lunch. He got me this delicious smoothie. It's like an immunity booster. And then everybody else got Chick-fil-A. <laughs> oh, you got pickles on there too. He ate a pickle. I took a bite. He ate a pickle. Ladies and gentlemen, stop the presses. I wonder if that pickle will heal your back. Honestly, that pickle helped the spiciness of this chicken. So I'm gonna go for it again. I can't even believe it. This is like a moment in history. It is. I think? never ever eat pickles. Oh. In this particular situation, it's actually very good. Wow. Frank's a changed man, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even know if we can call him Frank anymore. We're gonna have to give him a new name. Pickle man! Down the hatch. You've changed him. Because I have that now. effect on people. <laughs> I love pickles on my sandwich. Yeah. I, I'm like, I literally get morning. double pickles on everything. So I'm gonna enjoy my immunity boosting juice. Well, these boys chow down. I might steal some french fries and then we'll get back to work. What are you giggling about? It's just kind of weird that Bart gave my first pickle I've ever liked. <laughs> <laughs> Not in that type of way, guys, so get your mind out of the gutter, but just the pickle, you know? Yo, thanks, man. <laughs> Now we are thinking about installing the DC to DC charger because this is our last component of the electrical system that we need to get in place before we close up the walls. As it turns out, there is an auxiliary port uh, computer program. I don't know how to explain it, but here it is. All you have to do is take off right here the side panel on the sliding door closest to your passenger seat where the seat belt is you have this little piece there's going to be two screws on this side two screws on the opposite on the door side over here and my finger is wiggling back that way <laughs> and then you pull this out baby why is under our floor so dirty because of all the work that we've been doing Just has oh, look to be a dime. hi dad that's so cool <laughs> That's the message I needed, thank you. You wanna keep this area open during your van build because this access is a very important vital part. This is your 12 volt system from your main battery. So you could hook up either on 12 or 15 right here. Uh, I gotta be sure of those numbers, I don't know what they are yet. But if you put a wire into 12 and then run it to your DC to DC uh, charger, this automatically starts it when the uh, when the uh, ignition is turned. If you want to put a switch in between that, you can figure out where that goes on the dash. So the batteries for the ProMaster are actually just underneath your driver's seat. I can take you guys over there. Do you want to see? Yeah, please. My back literally went out as I was walking around the car. And then it came back to life, you know? And then your battery should be right underneath the floor there. The battery. You definitely see there was an accident. Oh, look, here's the other part of that blunt wrap. <laughs> That's uh. not ours, by the way. Uh. That's like whoever the, destroyed this the, car. The glass from the last time and the tobacco, look. Oh my God, so gross. Yeah, so that- We should vacuum this up while we have- We should figure out who that dealer is in Illinois. Is that weed? Yeah, I think so. Oh my God. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> There's definitely marijuana down here. So the other day I noticed this piece of newspaper just like flopping out from the drivers yeah. or from the steering wheel. I guess whoever was driving this was looking for a new job because it's a Technical Institute Electrical Joint Apprenticeship Training Program Test. Huh. So hope they got the job. I think that all the blunts and smashing the car probably didn't help with his career prospects. Yeah. The boys are still working on framing. We're super grateful that Bart is here right now because Frank's back is like, pfft. so Bart is doing all of the heavy lifting, which is awesome. I am stringing up the roof or the ceiling because this is the last place that we need the big sheets of Havelock. And I really want to know how much Havelock I have left to like stuff in all of the extra nooks and crannies. So I think I'm going to do one layer on the whole roof. We only did one layer on the bottom. So 3.5 R rating on the roof and the ceiling. So since I am in a lot of physical pain right now, like my back is destroyed at this moment, I'm seizing up, but uh, luckily we got Bart here and right now, uh, Alex is coming in hot. We got Bart here and he's uh, helping out. So we're going straight down. 
Yep. And then we're making our pockets so we can leave them in angle. There you go, you got yourself a nice little pocket hole just like that. I don't know how I'm even talking right now because I'm hurting pretty bad. How you feeling, Alex? Um, I feel good. My bra is a little bit uncomfortable, but I could probably fix that faster than fixing Frank's back. <laughs> It's Bart's last day here on the build. It's officially time to get his name written inside of here before we immediately cover it up. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I was thinking here, I'm thinking more or less here, right in this little section. You got some white paint? Lady Claudia gave us some, here you go. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, and it's four times the protection so you can't get past it. is officially in the van and we are super excited thank you so much for coming for the last couple of days yeah, helping us out helping. it was actually kind of perfect timing honestly if it wasn't for it having you here i wouldn't have got as much done i guess i'll just start heading out this way yeah, okay bye like it's a cold day here in florida what's the weather outside cold chilly as hell it's cold <laughs> no one likes it it's cold it's out cold. Nah, it's really not too bad it's, it's just freezing windy. cold it's windy Burr. Probably like 60s, 50s, Burr. high 50s. Frank's back is still bothering him, so we're gonna take it easy. We're actually on the mission to buy a new mattress for the upstairs room because he thinks the mattress up there is really impacting his back. I think the mattress is fine. We're sleeping on it backwards now, so there's less of a huge dip in the middle, so wait, wait, but definitely not great. You're agreeing to me, with me that there is a huge dip in the middle of, uh, of that bed. Yeah, I agree. Okay, cool. Cool, Thank cool, you. Cool. Thank you. That definitely, that's all I need to hear. We found a mattress liquidator on Facebook Marketplace, so we're not trying to spend a bunch of money. It's really just for the guest room in here and then for us while we're here. But in order for us to go to the store, we need to put our deck back on. Get your deck on, get your, get your deck on. What do you guys think? Did it come out nice? If you guys remember, we put these boards up, I guess, too early. The lady at Home Depot said that we should have actually let the wood sit for 30 days and before actually, we tried to treat it so or do anything to it. You're supposed to do a moisture test, and the way you do that is you take, like, um, plastic wrap, and then you put it over the top of the board, and you let it sit, and then you go look at it, and you'll see moisture in between the two. It basically is, like, pulling the moisture and out And so if it. there is moisture, then you have to leave it for longer. Yes. We didn't do that which is why apparently we fudged up. We treated them with three coats of polyurethane and let them cure for three days. So now we can put them back up and then we can actually drive because then our SureCell booster and our Wi-Fi antenna will both actually be mounted to something so instead smooth. of just dangling on our roof. It's so like smooth on top now too. Nice. You gotta be careful we don't slip off the roof. So graceful. You know, I'm pretty graceful even though I have the back, you know? <laughs> Do my thing. This is some old dry cock, so you have to stab it really good. You kind of have to like scrape the edges. There it is, there it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the good stuff. <laughs> well, I definitely want to clean my tip. Yeah, clean that tip. And then hopefully this will just pull out. And now we have new brand new cork. Well, kind of, it's like half a canister and the tip is really bad, but what we need to do, because of the way that Frankie installed the wires for the antenna with the L. Elbow. Elbow. 90 degree elbow. His 90 degree elbow. Because it's got an opening at the top and at the bottom, we want to caulk it close so that no moisture gets in. If you caulk that front top part, you don't have to worry about filling up the whole hole. You just want to get that I'm part where the- I'm filling the whole hole. No, no, do it from the top. I don't want to take no chances. I, I want to fill the whole hole. Okay, we will, but you got to do it from the top first. Don't test me, Frank. I'm testing you. I got a gun and I'm not afraid to use it. Please don't use it. Okay, I'll go. Go upstairs. <laughs> so right there is the hole. It's an old dry cock. It's not working. It's going in. Let me see. I'll keep it going. Okay. Frank's better with the cock than I am. He's an expert cocker. And especially when it's old hard cock, it's like really difficult to squeeze. I gotta ask a question. Who else out there drives like this with their foot up? 
in these vans. I feel like it's one of the most comfortable spots when you're in the van when you're driving all the time. Yes, I know there's a danger to it if you get into an accident. I get it. But if I'm in a high shed situation where I feel like I'm about something's about to happen, I'm gonna be like this. <laughs> you know? The coolest part about this van is it fits in a parking spot. What? Oh, Oops, off the bed, Paco, get down. get down. He's like, but we're laying <laughs> in a He's bed. Like, I like laying in bed. I don't understand. <laughs> keep we had him out of the bed for like the first five months of having him. And then he got in the bed and that was it. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, man. <laughs> Shit. Better there than the bed. <laughs> no, not only my back hurt, but my balls hurt too. <laughs> Paco, uh, that is so much better, buddy. Paco, are you here for the party? You like the new bed? Oh, yeah, she's happy. I'm sleeping on it tonight. Paco. I'm going to wake up in a nice feeling back. Don't sneeze in my face. This eh? feels so much better. It's ridiculous. Like, I, oh. I actually feel like I have support, like, in my tailbone area. Good. Yeah. I'm happy for your tailbone. Me too. Yes. Okay, now what? Maybe we take a first nap. <laughs> I'm into it. All right, Frank. Yes? How was the bed last night? Honestly, it was fucking amazing. Like, <laughs> it was a day and night difference. I legit woke up feeling a lot better. I slept through the whole entire night. With the other bed, I would be like, Turn it over, trying to like get myself in the right place, move myself up to get out of like that little drop that was happening. But uh, this sleep was amazing. I'm really glad that we got the new bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was a very smart move. Money well spent. I was super comfortable also, which is great. And yeah, so we've got our new mattress, new life, new back. Today we would be working, but one of the homeowners tipped us off that the management company is coming for like a full inspection of the whole well, property. Well, it looks like that they're putting down new uh, plumbing or something, maybe electrical. There's two cars here right now that are uh, pulling up, getting ready for work. So I'm guessing they're coming around for them. We're playing it smart by not doing anything. Yeah, today. we figured we would be extra cautious and let them do whatever they want to do. I don't want them to have any reason to not like us being here. Um, we have had one complaint against us. We're trying to do right, but also fly under the radar. So, we have a very exciting adventure today. Yes, we do. Because we're going to go meet some friends, and we're going to go on a beautiful, scenic hike. Going to Mayaka River State Park. Let's, Let's go. Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? One, two, three, four. They have horse trails. We could uh, gallop down them like we're a horse, <laughs> since we don't have any, you know? Yeah, your heart is a sun, and it shines 
Is it open? Hey guys, hey. Steve and Andre are here. Hey. What's up? We're gonna go for a hike. Maybe more than one hike. This one's like a little guy, right? The yeah, canopy hike. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. I think it's less than a mile. Are the earth in this thing with the mountain? Well, your bones are the earth and they sing with the mountain. Your bones are the earth and they sing with the mountain. That looks so cool. This is totally worth it. Bounce, 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 bounce. We're going all the way up to the top. Did anybody bring quarters? <laughs> we need quarters for the machine. They should warn you. Yeah, right. I didn't sure bring my change. Have a stack of quarters. <laughs> Have your stack of quarters on you before you get here, guys. The space that creates your horizon. There's like five alligators over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, you wouldn't because they're a predator. They probably sit there with their mouth wide open waiting for something to go into the Right? Say, why would you look outside yourself when you That's a big boy. We saw the alligators. Oh, this is so happy. He was very close. We saw so many alligators. We did. We seen a lot. I'm very happy. Frank didn't molest any of the alligators, like the sign told him not to. Yeah, so. I, I obeyed the rules, guys. Yeah, Good the, thing that sign was there. Yeah, yes. I didn't get a picture of it, but the sign clearly said no molesting of the alligators. None. Yeah. So don't get any ideas, okay? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> so now we're gonna go grab some lunch. I think I found a taco place that looks really good. We all know how much Alex loves tacos, and it's also Tuesday, so Taco Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday! This is the best day ever! <laughs> you guys got front row parking. Yeah. This cactus <laughs> mystery. <laughs> I've never had this That's before. The mystery. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Good morning, everybody. Hi guys. We've had way too much time off the van belt. Yeah, unfortunately, I had that injury and it's been bothering me. Today, I feel pretty good. We're gonna see how far we can go. Yeah, and we don't wanna push it too far so that we just end up right back where we were. So today, we're gonna have kind of a light day hey. on the van belt. Get back here. Oh, good boy. boy. Come oh. inside. This yeah, stuff like is little, putting his little, little white mustache. stuff on his beard. Come One in. of our um, friends, Kim, sent us this stuff for dogs that you put on their food that's supposed to be super healthy for them. Mm -hmm. But it's gotten on all of his whiskers look, and look now it. he's got like a little beard. Okay, so our plan for today is to finish the deck, but that means we have to scrub some of the little rust bits off the roof, yep. um, which were caused by cutting holes. And we thought we cleaned pretty good, but apparently not. Apparently not. It's a lot going on, so let's get some things done. <laughs> this shit works really, really good. Let's do this. Oh, I'm cleaning. Cleaning, cleaning. Oh, oh, cleaning. Cleaning, cleaning. <laughs> It's a deck party. We're all loving the deck. This is where it's gonna be at when we're 
in the middle of like Oregon on a lake somewhere, <sighs> chilling on top of the deck. You're gonna see the lakes out here.